Hello everyone, this is TJ with Robinhood Coins, and today we are hunting through $1,200 worth of $2 bills. We'll be looking for old bills like 1976, 1995. We'll be looking for star notes, low serial numbers with uh, less than 10,000, and fancy serial numbers like binaries, trinaries, uh, the all-elusive solid, which is the entire serial number is made up of one number. Anything to add to our collection, and hopefully we find something really good for the Robinhood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on the video, and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. So as usual, we'll go through each strap off camera, and then I'll bring you in after each strap and show you what we found. So with that, let's get into the first strap. Well, we're all done with the first strap, and we had a couple good finds and a close call. Here is the close call. It was almost a repeater. 3446, 3441. If the 1 was a 6, or if the 6 was a 1, it would have been a repeater, and that would have been pretty cool, but it's not. We did find a star note, which is cool. I like the star notes. Just a, It's just interesting having that star there, and it's different, and I just like them. So that was cool. Not a fancy serial number or anything, even though it is technically a date bill. March 28th, 3713, but it won't be a date worth anything for another 1700 years. So that's still cool though, because it's a star note. And then this bill right here, this is a 1976 and it is immaculate. I mean, I can't find anything wrong with it. It's got no creases, it's crisp. Uh, the back it doesn't have any marks on it. I don't see any ink marks on the front. I mean, it is fantastic. About the only thing is the edges, the corners of a few corners. Look at that right there is about the only thing that I can find wrong with this bill. So this is definitely a keeper. And now on to strap number two. Well, I'm all done with strap number two, and we had a couple good finds. One was almost a really good find. This is in very nice condition. No creases, still crisp, but the back has a stain, almost like, like a chocolate stain or just dirt. Hopefully you can see that right there. But, um, so I don't know. I think that devalues it, and I don't think it's worth anything. Let me know what you think. Other than that, it's super crisp. You could tell it was folded here once, but not for long because it's still really crisp. So, and no other major creases or anything. Then we had a trinary, which I don't think these are very valuable. And this one really isn't because it's got a tear. But it is technically a trinary where the entire serial number is made up of three different numbers. But that's going back because of the tear. And then we had a couple date bills. July 15th, 2142. So in, I don't know, about uh, another 120 years, this will be relevant. February 24th, 2321. So it'll be relevant in a couple hundred years. And then this one, I we should go back and look and see if anything happened on April 29th, 1425. Um, because if so, then this might be an interesting bill if that date was significant to anybody. But uh, I'll probably keep it just because it is technically a date bill. And now we're going to get into strap number three. We are all done with strap number three, and we had a couple more good finds. We had this date bill right here, which is July 9th, 2103. And so it's only going to be 80 or so years until this one's relevant. That's not bad at all. I'll keep that one. Maybe pass it down to my kids. This one is a 1995 that's in pretty nice shape. I don't usually see 1995s in this good of shape. Probably the biggest issue is these creases right here. And uh, you can even see through again on the back. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. But no ink mark or anything else. So pretty good bill. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And then we had another 1995 in decent shape. It did have a big crease down the middle, but uh, it's still a 1995. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. And then we found another trinary. These are not rare, and I don't really think they're worth much uh, from a collector's standpoint. Um, I kind of like them, so I save them, but I don't think you can sell them for very much on eBay. I'm not really sure. I'm still learning a lot of that. And we did find a star note. And this time it's a 1995 star note. So that is really cool. 
Can't wait to look up on mycurrencycollection.com to see if that is worth anything. And then we're going to get into strap number four. We are all done with strap number four, and we had a close call on a low serial number, 26,391. I think that it really needs to be under 10,000 to be valuable, but uh, it was close. We did find another star note. This time it's a 2013 in really beat up condition. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this. Um, we'll see if it's rare or not. If it's common, this one's probably going to have to go back just because of the condition. And then we had another trinary. Again, like I said, these are not uncommon. But um, kind of cool, this one, just because it's so close to being a repeater. If the 12 or the 21 were um, repeated, then it would have been a repeater. And that would have been a really cool pattern, 1812, 1812. But uh, still not bad, 1812, 1821. Kind of cool and almost mint or, or uncirculated condition. It's I don't even see any dings or anything on the corners. Just immaculate condition. So I'll probably keep that one. Well, I just got done searching through strap number five, and all we had to show for it was this star note. Nothing else even close to do, worth anything to talk about. Um, but it is a star note. It's a 2003, and we will see if it's rare or not. Well, I just finished up with strap number six, and this is all I had to show for it. It is a very interesting bill, in my opinion. It's a 2009, and look at this serial number. 111-222-33. So it's a trinary and it's sequential. It just looks like a cool bill. I like it. I'm going to keep it. It's not in the greatest of condition. Hopefully you can see it does have some scrap or some folds right there. Fold right here. Fold right there. Uh, it doesn't really look to have any tears, but this corner is, is bent. I just unfolded it. And um, no ink marks or stains or anything like that. So not the worst condition, but I like that, that serial number. That, that is kind of cool. I'm going to keep that one. So now I'm going to hop into mycurrencycollection.com and see about the rarity of those uh, star notes. All right, so here we are on MyCurrencyCollection.com. I went ahead and put in each of the serial numbers on different tabs so we could just kind of run through them. And the really cool part is none of them are on the extremely less rare side. They're all either right here or better. Um, so eh, average, a little bit below average on the rare side to, um, to average. Let's go through them. The first one is a 2013 and it's a 1.28 million uh, run size and it is a little bit less than average on the rarity. And then the second one right here is another 1.2 million. Uh, this is a different serial number right there and again just under the uh, just to the left of the middle as far as the rarity. But this is where it gets fun. The 2013 with the four, the three fours in the middle of the serial number, that one has a run size of 640,000, which puts it right in the middle of the less rare to more rare scale. So that's pretty cool. It's a 2013. And then finally, the 1995 is even lower. It's a 512,000 run size. Uh, total printed was 1.2 million. And uh, that one is again in the middle of the pack. And it's a 1995. So not uh, great. Nothing on the extremely rare side, but also nothing on the extremely not rare side. So pretty cool. All right, here's the overall wrap up. We ended up with four star notes, but unfortunately they're all in pretty bad condition. Uh, you can kind of see that one there. Those are the two uncommon ones. And then uh, this this is probably the closest to being a good condition, but technically it has a tear right there. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, other than that though, it's in great shape, but unfortunately it does have that tear. And then here is that 1999 right there. Uh, those were both middle of the pack on rarity. 
And then we had this date bill in uh, July 9th, 2103. And it's in decent shape. And it's a 2003. So that's a nice little find, I think. We had the trinary 1812 and 1821. Almost a repeater. 2013 in immaculate shape. And then we had that uh, other trinary from 2009 that just had that really cool serial number, 1112233. Had it been a nine digit number with an extra three, that would have been really cool. But still, I like it a lot. That one's a cool one. And then probably my favorite of the hunt is this 1976, just immaculate condition. Just really, really nice. Love the reverse of that bill, but that's very cool. Um, nothing wrong with this one, except for a little bit of bend on the one of the corners, but I'll take that all day long. So the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video is gonna be a choice. Uh, whoever wins is gonna have their choice between this 1995 Star Note, the 2013 Star Note, that are both in the middle of the pack as far as rarity. Uh, the 1995 is a little worn. The 2013 has that little tear right here up at the top. Or the third choice will be this trinary 1812-1821 serial number. It's a 2013 bill in immaculate condition. As always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on the video and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. And the winner can choose which one of these that they wanna win. Well, I hope you enjoyed this hunt as much as I did. It was a lot of fun. If so, smash that like button. If you like our content, hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos or giveaways. And with that, we will see you on the next hunt.